89. Ting's only had two chances this evening. He made 85 from the first in the opening frame. And uh, he's uh, well advanced into a maximum attempt here in the third. Well, there's nothing awkward here. Nothing at all. Apart nice. from the pressure that's involved. And the fact that he's going to get a kick at the vital time like that. 97. He's still on the black and he's still in with a great chance, but he definitely got a bad contact there. <laughs> Not what we wanted to see. Held it very nicely. Off a thinner angle than he wanted to have. Anything has to be careful now five. is that playing on the last thread he doesn't go too far and get the snooker behind the pink on himself. So that's the only thing he has to be a bit watchful of here. Doing that, he's not got far enough. You see, it was all about the pink, that shot. If it wasn't there, he could have really gone across the table further. Now, how's he going to get on the black this time? He's got to go either with lots of screw. This has really got to go off the cushion. Oh, dear. Well, it's not going to be a 147 bar, an absolute miracle now. A little smile from Ding, that's unusual. Time out. A smile of the rueful variety. I tell you what, he, he's not interested in the 146, is he? Not at all. He's if he if he cuts this in and, and makes 147, then uh, it'll be probably the the greatest shot we'll ever see, I think, at snooker because this is incredibly thin. Almost got to play to miss this altogether, I think. I hope you catch the very thin edge. Great effort from Ding. A fine maximum attempt scores on 114. It gives him a two-one. Get on either of the two reds. They're in open play. And then try and play the always not here that hard enough. Boy, oh, had so much more to the way there. We had acres of space. We've gone another two feet. Well, as you can see, he's not happy. But it's worth a try. Try and bring that cue ball in and out of balk. Basically, what he's got to try and do is to miss the yellow. Hello? Hello? Where's the cue ball going? Is it going perfect on the black? You bet your life it is. How's about that then? Now, <laughs> has he got the bonus and the angle on the black to flick the red and pink into play? See, that's only, it's such good break building the way he plays. I know he's flipped the red, but. You know, that's the way you've got to do it. You've got to give yourself yes. options. You can still screw the red in and, or even play the double. That might be in his favour as well. That could be in his favour. Just looking at that fluke again. What a fluke that was. <laughs> the way the cue ball came round and finished on the black. But it's not got any easier. And I think he's taking your advice. He's looking at the double. Can he generate enough pace with the cue ball done? Because the black's only available in the left-hand corner at the moment. Or, no, probably just about available in the right as well. Yeah. It's in. He's just overrun it slightly, but I think he may just be able to pop this black and play a cannon into the pink. Well, he's looking around the table, John. I, like you, think he can get into this enough to come on the pink. I definitely can. Well, looking at that, I mean, the black's obviously missable, but 
a soft screw, lots of backspin, don't hit it too hard. Give chance for the, the backspin to take a grip. He, he doesn't think it's on, John. He's looking around the table again. No. I can't believe that he didn't think he could hold that, but anyway, the black went in, the hope, the slim hope, is still alive if he could drop this red in. Well, it was a pity. It kept going with a fluke, but uh, nevertheless, the most important thing, I'm sure it's from being in Germany. In the semi-final, this will be a record if he gets the century break. There's never been nine centuries made anywhere in the semi-final. So this, for the record books, Another six inches on that cue ball, and he would have been perfect. He's going to have to leave an awkward black if he's going to go around the angles. He's got to avoid all the colours. If he drops it in, it's a tough black. He's coming around to see what sort of angle he could leave. Just a fraction short there. This year, Ronnie O'Sullivan decided not to go for the black off the penultimate red and finished up making a 146. That won't apply in this case. And funnily enough, to Deck and Stay, who made a 147? Ding Jun Wee. Come on, son, don't let us down. Yeah. 
Get in there. And he's got the side on it. What a black played with loads of side to get towards the red. He needs another good one. This is more difficult than the black. Yes, it's there. Oh, look where the cue ball's gone. 113. Well, even Alan McManus would love to see Ding cut this black in and get on the yellow. There's been 10 maximums made at the Crucible. Oh, he's overcut it. He's overcut it. What a shame, but what an effort from Ding Zhong Wei. A chance of making a maximum break. And look what it would have meant to the Chinese player. But more important, that century break. Seventy-three. Sure, sure. That's a firm one. This angle. The black. He kisses the, the red that's to the left of the two above. If he can kiss that, he needs to play a pace to go through it to leave the red to right corner. Oh, I think he got into the cue ball too much there. That's not the cannon he was playing. Yes, he just uh, he just had with his finger there, didn't he? Say that wasn't a great shot. There's no reason why. He's, I mean, he's got to pot at least one more red, really, to to make sure the frame's safe. Okay, it should be safe now. 80 in front. I wouldn't imagine him carrying on, but there's still 67 points on. But he can set a good target for the, for the high break, can't he? Now by playing for blue or bork colour off this red. But he's looking to try and get on the black. He's thinking of going in out of bork. Yeah, I think the paths to go in between yellow and brown. Thing he needs to be a little bit careful of John he's just gone a bit high really to play that shot he doesn't want to push the red and block the black to the right hand black pocket which he could do here oh he did well there 81 yeah but the thing is bearing what you had in mind Peter that's why he played it so delicately and that's why he's not good on this black if he wants to, he could try and move the red off the left-hand side cushion. He's overcut it. Oh, well, and you head down, you're lucky. But the frame is going through the guard, and Anthony Gill doesn't bother coming back to the table. To run through the pink and still get position on the black. Now he hit the wrong side of the pink. Well, you might as well go for the cut. I thought the man just stunned past the thing there and just leave a cut on the black. Even somewhere near that left middle pocket, at least you'd have had a go at the black there. Took a chance. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, did make the maximum, but he didn't get more excited and more大家要大一点好球好球停下来这样的话高杆左塞打进黑球可以把红球堆黑塞关键的杆数啊哎呀黑到了但是有组合球啊现在有组合球了这就是看运气了嗯但是这个传球的话还要
Aici. Ding Jun Wei, 80. Frame considered, frame and match, Ding Jun Wei. 